Good morning, welcome to the channel. We're back with another video. Typically, if you do follow along with this channel, you'll know that I film what I do, and that is carpentry. Every now and again, I'll do a review. And in today's video, I'm gonna review the Snickers 6341 trouser or pant, whichever country you live in. <laughs> so, we'll jump straight into it, and we'll start with all the pros. Actually, we'll start with why I wanted to buy this specific pair of pants. Typically, in North America, I'm from Canada, the go-to workwear is jeans, denim, and over the years they've incorporated polyester, they've incorporated spandex to make them more comfy and more professional looking, more fitted. But it's definitely been dominated by that type of workwear for a long time and it wasn't until recently. Um, actually, I found out of these pants from a YouTuber I watched, shout out Scott Brown Carpentry, um, who did a review on them, who's down in New Zealand. And after watching that review, I'm like, I need to research this a little more. I wanted to find something that I could, well, my only requirement was a set of pants, a pair of pants that had knee inserts to them and that had a good range of options for knee pads. These are the knee pads I got with them. They're slim profile, a bit more of the expensive um, version. They have D30 material there. So that was my number one requirement for this pair of pants. The next was a few options for pockets. I wanted to find something that wasn't just hand pockets to go into, but did have a few options for tools. All right, I thought I'd actually put them on so you can see what they look like while I'm wearing them. I have the knee pads in here now. They slip in, again, a little awkwardly, but once they're in, they feel really good. They, you can't hardly tell that I'm even wearing them at the moment, which is great really don't interfere with mobility or anything, which is really nice. Most importantly, they don't have straps that are not chaffing the back of your knees or slipping down constantly. They're in there and they'll stay in there. For the pockets, you have this big cargo one, like I mentioned. I don't use that one at all, actually. I don't know what you'd use it for, but it's a good option to have. You have a couple pencil holders there. I've tried to use those. I haven't found that, that found them that helpful because I do have a side pouch typically that I wear that holds my pencils and my knives and everything. I do use this pocket often for my cell phone, which is a good size for it. On this side, you have this holder. I think this is for an accessory you can buy from Snickers. I'm not too sure on that. I don't use it. Sometimes I've stuck a hammer or something in there or a chisel. I have used this one quite often for a pencil or screwdriver. I've used this one quite often for pliers if I'm doing trim or a flat bar, something small like that. And then the back pockets are pretty big and I typically use the, that for a speed square, again if I'm doing trim. So there are the right amount of pockets for me, an extra couple to spare, and I'm sure if I didn't have my side pouch I would probably use them a little more often. but. I'm just so used to my side pouch that I like having it more. You can also see my flexibility in moving is not prohibited at all, even though they are slimmer fit because of that stretchiness, which is in the middle here, as well as the back of the thigh. So they are a slim fit, but they have great mobility in them as well. You can kind of tell where they're reinforced with that special material they use. I'll leave the name up there. I think it's Coronda or something like that. Um, just on the high obra highly abrasive parts, which the knees are definitely the biggest part there. The knees are also articulated, I think is the word. No, wait, is that the word? Not sure. Basically, they're pre-bent knees, so you're not restrained from coming against your fabric all day. If they were just regular straight knees, you might notice a little bit of resistance there if you were to squat and stuff throughout the day. So that actually does make a difference, believe it or not. So pocket's a huge plus. Knee pad insert's a huge plus. The other thing I was looking for was the flexibility and having some movement with while maintaining somewhat of a, a slimmer pant. Last but not least is the durability. I've had these for about 10 months. I have worn them about maybe 50-60% of that time. I mostly focus on interior remodeling work, so it's pretty clean work, not that hard on the pants themselves. I've snagged them on broken off tap cons on the knee, no signs of wear, whereas with a pair of jeans that would have ripped them pretty quickly. So I'm really happy and impressive with the durability of them. 
The only con that I have found so far is the breathability, but what pair of pant provides breathability in like 30 degree temperatures. So I'm not too upset about that at that point. Just wear shorts and strap on knee pads if you need to. But other than that, they've been awesome. I've loved them. And I'm expecting to get probably five years out of them with the type of work I do that isn't too hard on them. Now, if you're doing something else, um, like demolition work or something, I'm not sure how these would hold up, but so far with the carpentry that I do, they've been awesome. And that pretty much does it for the whole review. Hopefully you like the video. Um, if you're looking into buying them, I would say go for it. They're uh, a great option. They're maybe twice as much as jeans, but I definitely expect them to last twice, if not three to four times longer than a normal pair of jeans. Don't be intimidated with all the pockets or with how maybe different they look from traditional stuff in North America if you're from this area. Um, yeah, you'll be happy with the purchase. All right, that's going to do it for this video. If you want to follow along with this cottage build or go back and watch the build of it, I'll put a link down below. You can follow along with the playlist. Other than that, feel free to subscribe if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.